hello everyone welcome to my channel i'm simona and today i'm going to show all of you how to create this easy fun very fast folio all you need is two lunch bags and two 12 by 12 cardstock i don't recommend paper because with paper you do not get the stability what you're going to do is fold it over in half Make sure it, it lines up. Fold the top down and fold this part also down. Now you want to keep this part, it just gives it a nice look. That's why I left it. You're going to repeat the same thing with the second bag. And what you're going to do is put one on top of the other. Now you have two pockets here, one here, and the one in the back you're going to lose, but I'm going to show you at the end. I mean, you still going to gain a pocket out of it, a hidden pocket down here. You can glue it on or sew it on. It's up to you. I prefer the sewing. So that's what I did, but this one I'm going to glue on. It's just going to be a lot more gluing than <laughs> sewing. So you're going to glue this part, this little flap. You're going to do that to both. Oops, too much glue. Now you're going to glue this whole bottom part. Okay, I'm going to glue the sides here on the top back. When you're gluing the top one onto the bottom one, you want to leave about a quarter inch in between. But do not glue the whole thing. You can, you're gluing the whole bottom part. But this bottom part, you're only going to be gluing the side, sides because that's going to be your hidden pocket. And I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch space. And just put this on top. Same thing here, you're just going to be gluing the sides. All right, now what you're going to do is cut off about an inch from the top. I like to use, I have all these different scissors with different designs, which I like to use just to give it, you know, a different look. So I'm guessing, I'm not, I don't, not in the mood to measure. So now you're going to use your two 12 by 12. I choose cardstock with designs. You're going to take it, put it in the middle, leave about a quarter inch on the bottom. You're going to be folding both sides over. Make sure it lines up on the bottom and you want it to overlap. This is going to be eight by five and a half, I think. Okay, so now you're going to cut off four inches here. 
I can't find my bone folder. So I want to make sure the sides are nice and crisp. Now this is where I get lazy. You can do it your way, of course, but what I do is <laughs> I just glue the top one on and then just cut it off. You do want to add some ribbon or strings, just something so that you can close it down. And what I did is I didn't just glue on my string. I also put double tape over it just so it's more secure. I always make sure that my ribbon on the inside is at least a couple of inches long. It just makes me feel better as far as it not popping out. And then I'm going to put double-sided tape over it. Oh, that one folded over. Now I'm going to close it up. If now you want to ink around the edges, that's up to you. Put it on top. Make sure it lines up. Very important. Now I do go over it just to move the glue around. Now I'm going to cut off this part right here. You're going to fold this in. And then this one over. And now you're going to glue in the back. As I said, you have a pocket in the back, but you're going to lose it, but you have a hidden one right here. And I'm going to glue the whole back onto the cardstock. You want to leave about a quarter inch on the bottom, place it in the middle, make sure there is space in between, and voila, you have your lunch bag folio. Now, I do not recommend adding a bunch of pockets or fold outs because it's going to get too bulky and you want to be able to add things. What I did is I did add a small pocket in the back. You don't have to make it small. It's just what I had left over. You can make it the same with, uh, you know, however big you want the pocket to be. And how you decorate it is up to you. As I said, I'm going to ink this one. I'm going to uh, place a button here. And this is, I made it too long. I'm going to close it. And you want it to be a little bit longer just so that it can expand once you start adding. So now you have a pocket here, a hidden one here, one up here, and then you have one which is the same size as the back, the top back. And that's it. Very fast, simple, and easy to create. Please, everyone, let me know in a comment below what you think of this idea. I think it's very beautiful using the lunch bags and having the design. It just gives it character. I, I love... I love using the lunch bags. It just... 
I love using the lunch bags. I like the way it looks, the brown with the green. Folding it over, just even that it's not a pocket, it just gives it character. They're fun and easy and fast to make. Everyone, let me know in a comment below what you think of this lunch bag folio and if you're going to create one. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Until next time, bye-bye.